What's going on, fellas? It's Cager, and I am back with another video on Smash Ultimate. So, where we last left off, I was talking about my thoughts for the upcoming Direct, and I got some predictions right. I got a lot of the Smash stuff very, very wrong. So, unfortunately, we weren't really showing that much at all about Smash. Uh, I really thought we were going to see Joker gameplay. I thought that was a definite, and I thought we also might get some info on DLC too, but we have not gotten any. So, Joker now we know is coming out in April, and that really sets up DLC 2 for around a June or July release. I'm thinking more like July. And if you think about that, guys, that sets us up perfectly for when there is the release of Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I know this is unfortunate for a lot of you. But yes, guys, we probably are getting another rep from Fire Emblem Three Houses because the info just all adds up. What I talked about in my video last week um, was the voice actress for one of the characters from the new Fire Emblem game saying that she was working on one of the biggest video games ever and to me Fire Emblem just doesn't really scream biggest video game ever I know uh, it's been more popular in recent years but if you go on the street and just ask random people chances are most of them are gonna have no idea what Fire Emblem is but a lot more of them will know about Smash. Smash is one of those games that a ton of people know about. Fire Emblem is more of like a niche community but I think it's Smash. I think it's Smash she's talking about. It doesn't have to be Smash. She could be working on, you know, a whole bunch of variety of things. But the way it just all lines up, it sort of fits together. Nintendo has a history of picking Fire Emblem characters uh, to be in Smash just to promote the game. Even though there's a ton of them already. Uh, the game's launching right around when DLC 2 should be coming out in Smash Ultimate. And this voice actress just tweeted that um, a few weeks ago, I believe. So... Yeah, it's just all the evidence, like, put together, that makes it a really, really strong case uh, for Edelgard to be a character in Smash Ultimate, which, honestly, if they're gonna pick any Fire Emblem character, I think this is the absolute best scenario, It is what I'm the most pleased with, and I think you should be too, for the reason that she doesn't have to use a sword. Now, we still could get another sword fighter, because if you look in the E3 trailer for Fire Emblem Three Houses, she does have the option to equip a sword, but... Her main weapon seems to be an axe. Uh, that's what showed up first, I believe. You look up um, fan art, not that that has anything to do with it, but like people are people are drawing her with an axe. They a lot of the fans online consider her an axe fighter, um, which is really cool if that's how she's implemented in a Smash. I think that's how they would do it uh, because DLC fighters aren't going to be Echo fighters. Now that is a possibility um, if she's not paid DLC because I do still believe that we could be getting some Echo Fighters here and there as free DLC throughout the year. I don't think that this is like an extremely likely thing. I think it is a high possibility though that throughout like each DLC pack that's paid, we could be getting some free Echo Fighters and just like regular free updates for the game. I think that's definitely a possibility. Uh, and in that case, yeah, we could get like we could get a Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses character from that. Absolutely, they could just make an Echo of Ike. Or, like, another Echo of Marth or something really stupid like that. Hopefully they don't do that. Hopefully they don't make, like, two Marth Echoes. I think one is good enough. And we already have one Roy Echo, too. We don't need another character like that. Uh, but having a completely original character, I would be kind of okay with. It's still a lot for Fire Emblem. Uh, but, you know, we, you think about it, there's, like, even more Mario characters than that. There's gotta be another Pokemon rep, too. Because I, I think it's safe to say that one of the DLCs is going to be a Pokemon rep. And, um, you know, that'll be later down the line when the next gen releases, but I think we are going to get a Pokemon from that game, because that's something that happens too. I mean, it happened in this game with Incineroar, and it happened in the previous game with Greninja. Uh, before X and Y were even released, they started working on this character, and maybe they even started working on Incineroar before Sun and Moon, but uh, either way, like, you guys get the point. They're picking a character from a new game just for the sake of promoting the new game. And that seems like what's going to happen here with Edelgard specifically. And if that happens, I would be okay because she'll use an axe, hopefully. I really hope that they go for the axe and use that as a moveset. Because we don't have a character that is an axe fighter. Unless you want to count the Belmonts because they throw it with their neutral beat. But they don't really use it in any other of their moves. So having a character that uses the axe in every single one of her moves, that would be pretty cool. Um, obviously, it would be a little bit similar to a sword. But I think there are some differences... You can definitely make her playstyle feel different. I think she'd definitely be the most similar to Ike out of any of the characters. Um, just because an axe is typically a lot heavier than a sword. So, I think that 
Yeah, I, I think that's what she would be most similar to. I think they could still differ her from Ike a lot, though. So she doesn't just feel like a clone. I hope not. And I really like Ike. I am an Ike main, uh, for those of you who don't know. But I don't want just another Ike. If there's another character that's a bit different, I would highly prefer that. I'm sure most of you guys would too, especially for DLC. People are paying like $6 for this if you don't have the pass. So for that, I think that warrants like a completely new character. But yeah, that's that's going to be uh, my thoughts on this issue. I think that she is the character. Um, and you know what? As long as they make her unique, I am okay with it. Now, they could just make her give her a sword. They could give someone else from the Fire Emblem game. I really believe, though, that this all is just too much. Like, it lines up too perfectly. It is going to be a character from Three Houses, and it is likely going to be Edelgard. Um, now, also, what they could do is they could have multiple characters from the game be given me costumes, because we got a recent update on the Smash Ultimate website that talks about me costumes coming out, and we didn't see anything in the Direct at all. And I think that when that 3.0 update comes out, when Joker uh, it comes out in the game, I think the update is going to come out at the same time as Joker, just like how 2.0 came out with Piranha Plant. Um, I think that's when we're going to get a lot more me costumes, and we're going to have a lot of characters deconfirmed that way. But I think we'll also get um, me costumes for Fire Emblem characters. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you okay with Edelgard being a character? I know on my previous video, a lot of you were not happy with that just because she was a Fire Emblem character, and I get it, guys. Like, I'm not a huge Fire Emblem fan either. Um, I do play some of the Fire Emblem characters in Smash, but I agree that, yeah, there's there's a lot of them. So I see why you'd be upset. Now, as long as it's an original character, I'll be okay with it. But, yeah, I can still see why a lot of you guys have an issue with this. But definitely, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with me that all this evidence lines up perfectly, or do you see a flaw in there somewhere that I'm not seeing? Definitely let me know. Also, if you want to communicate with me more or get notified on all my new videos, definitely click the link in the description below to join my Discord server. And, uh, yeah, just a great place. You could chat with anybody else who's on here um, and talk to me directly there and get notified on all my new videos without getting those annoying YouTube notifications. So, yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps out. Thank you guys for all of your support. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Kager, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>